Hey guys. Hey. Welcome to the challenge review. Sure. Yeah. Of the Hazel Harper Hard Wax Beans Challenge. Yes. Um, I did call it a challenge, so it's a challenge. Okay. So we're gonna review the product. Carrie mm -hmm. has graciously given me permission to possibly get back at her from the whole face mask there. So anyway, um, just uh, to give you a little info, they come in little beads. Ours kind of look like chocolate chips because um, we did not get the purple ones. We got the uh, brown mm -hmm. ones. Smells kind of funny. Um, but it kind of smells like soap and wax. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't smell like putrid. It just uh, doesn't have the lavender smell like a lot of people are reporting. So we will leave the link for the lavender one for you guys to get, and uh, we definitely recommend that one. So what you need are the uh, beans, of course, and you need something to heat them in. If you are not a hairstylist, you may not have like a professional wax melter. So you can either use a crock pot, which is what we're using. And um, one of the people commented on our page and said they have tried this, and they used a Scentsy. Yeah. So I guess anything that gets hot enough to melt. We did line our crock pot with one of those yeah. plastic crockpot liners because we still want to use our crockpot. Yeah, just didn't want it to have a bunch of waxy hair in it. Right. Uh, also, we used a little bit of these beads last night to kind of do a little test, which we do recommend to make yes. sure you're not, you know, sensitive to it. Um, I did it on my arm. My arm felt just amazingly smooth. Yeah, um, still does. Yeah. Actually. Carrie tried it on her leg. She liked it. And we were able to heat up the same wax and just add a little bit more than we did yesterday. Not the used wax, but the leftover wax yes. that we didn't use. Thank you. You're welcome. Point of clarification. Uh, so anyway, um, uh, last thing. The bag, I think it fills up to about right here. It's pretty full. Like right underneath this orange strip here for us. So since Carrie is doing both legs, we used quite a bit of it. Um, but we did that knowing that we could reuse the wax that we... Mm -hmm. Um, hadn't tainted, yes. so don't you know? We be do liberal with it. Some leftovers, so yeah. Okay, so without further ado, we're gonna get going. Mm -hmm. um, I'll start. Using so we'll see how it goes, and uh, if I have an evil look on my face every once in a while, don't blame me because you've that all seen the other video. I did, right? It's a little brutal. Okay, so Carrie is gonna stand up here. We're gonna get this all fixed. Just so you can see my reaction, right? Yeah. We do have another camera that is zoomed in on her leg, so you can get it. Now, Please I'm... Hold on to that plastic. I will. Um, I'm using a paint stick because we didn't see the point in ordering some of those fancy, like, tongue depressors, even though they were probably cheap. So we just ordered, uh, or we just used this because we had it. Same thing. Why not use it? So you dip it in there, spin it around a little bit to get the excess up because it is kind of runny. Um, and you don't want to get any anywhere, and you apply it by going down. Is it, is it too hot? No, that's not too hot. All right. All right. I can see that the tongue depressor might have worked better. Yeah, once you start going down, um, if you can kind of feel it tugging, that means it's already starting to dry. Uh, mm -hmm. So you just kind of wait a little bit um, until it gets hard. You can kind of feel by touching it, and I don't know if you could see that, but my a little bit came off on my finger there. Um, on the video, they always make it look so easy, the company Hazel Harper. You know, they were using quite a bit on the tongue depressor, and they were able to get huge amounts of the leg. They even went all the way down the leg with what mm -hmm. they were doing. And you just peel it on up. All right, so here we go. It's a really big strip. I'm not ready for it now. It is going to hurt a bit. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Ouch. That was mean. Did it hurt? Well, it's supposed to pull fast. Yeah, it did hurt a little bit. So as we pointed out yesterday, these little, like, leftover pieces, they kind of hurt. So I'm going to try to do it a little bit better on this next run so that way I get, uh, like, Keep it all together so I can get it all in one fell swoop. So how did it feel? Oh, shit. It so hurt. 
ones. Yeah, this is going to hurt, these little baby ones, but I don't want to go over them again. I would maybe prefer that you did. Okay. So how did it feel? Uh, not too bad. I can see missed one little hair in there, though. Okay. So. Well, that could have been the way I applied it, too, so that could be user error, so we'll do a few mm -hmm. more. Um, just to let you guys know, it did all come off, like, in relatively one large piece, other than the pieces that, are un that were uneven. Like, uh... Let me get like a little close up here. You see it, how it wasn't completely even, so it kind of ripped up over there. So cleanup seems like it would be kind of easy for this. Because the strips stay, it stays together. Yeah. All right. Okay. So we will just keep it going here and put that on keep warm. Keep warm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, um, just to let you guys know, we did keep our crock pot on low. And to heat up the amount that we used, it took probably, I'd say, 30 minutes for it to get going. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Everybody go slow? No! Go fast. Fast! Well, last time I went fast and wow. you said, does it hurt? Seriously, her? you think you should go slow? Hey. How would you feel if your eyebrows were waxed slowly? Well, I did it slow in the video. I know that you're doing this just to get back at me, and I hate you so much right now. <laughs> oh. Okay, guys, so we sped it up a little bit. We put a little bit more on. Um... I don't know if it makes a difference that we're using like a giant utensil such as the paint stick. However, on the video, they do make it look a lot easier for it to go on. And we aren't seeing the results of it being easy to spread. However, it is pulling the hair up. Yes. It is very smooth. Mm -hmm. um, it does hurt unless you go fast. But so far, the product seems to be doing exactly what it uh, states that it does. So it is easier if you pull it all up at the same time. And like I said, when it's uh, separated kind of here at the bottom, it does the hurt. part. Oof, yes. You're pulling up a little piece to rip. Ready? Yeah. Ah, Ooh. God. Oh, God. Okay, at first peel, it is red right away down here. It was not red up there when I first did it, but do you notice how it's getting a little red right here? Yeah. Okay, so. But how are you liking the results so far? How is it feeling for you? It feels really smooth, and I really like it. Um, okay. I wish that it was a little bit easier to apply on, like smoother. And I wish it didn't hurt so much to get that first little lip there. All right, let's try some on the knee there. And see how that feels to let people know. Hmm. That worked a little better. Uh, be careful, too, when you're pulling it away, there are, like, some little threads, mm -hmm. like strands, if you will. So you got to catch those quickly because if you have pets or if you, uh, you know, are doing it somewhere nice, uh, those little threads could get, you know, on stuff. So you definitely don't want that to happen. Yeah. Um, I'm starting to use, like, this quite a bit liberally. So it's actually going on smoother doing it this way, up and down, versus using... The whole stick like I had been. Yeah. I don't know if you've noticed that. So if you guys are using something that's longer like us, I mean, I don't want to like, I don't, we just don't like to be wasteful, you know? So why buy a bunch of sticks when we have something that will work? Right. So right here you can see that it's definitely, so there are a few strings still, mm -hmm. but it is definitely picking up the hair. There yeah. are a couple pieces that are left. I can't tell if that's because of us. Right. Um, or if it didn't get them, so we'll have to kind of see. We're, we're only going to do a little bit more um, for this video's sake, just so it's not super long. So let's just do this part, and then we will finish the rest of it up off camera and uh, get yeah. back to you with the final result after that. Okay, here we go. How did that feel on the knee? Was it more painful because it was the knee? No. Okay. No. It wasn't more painful. Okay. So, like I said, it cleans up really well. 
Um, there are some little stringies. Yeah. These long ones hurt the most. So do you recommend that people do it in short swoops? Well, I mean, it'll be faster to go. Wow. Did that hurt? Yeah, it did because you pulled it. All right, so I think we're going to go ahead and cut this here. Uh, we will come back on with a final, a uh, couple final thoughts. And we're back. Yeah. Did you miss us? I didn't even know we were gone, silly. We could have been gone for an eternity and they wouldn't have even known it. That's true. Final thoughts on the product. I really liked it. Um, I think the most painful part was peeling the wax up to grab a piece so that we could rip it off. Because that was slower, you know, doing that. So that hurt me a little bit. Okay, so we did try at one point pulling it down with the grain. Don't did not that. work, so don't do that. Don't waste your time. Just show you um, how long Carrie had let her hair grow for this challenge. I would say it was maybe like that. <laughs> it was pretty long. Yeah, I mean, how so embarrassing. what is this, like half an inch maybe? And some, so I wonder if it would have been less painful because when you put the wax on, it doesn't go very square like it does in the picture mm -hmm. um, or how they did it. However they did it, maybe they're professionals, but for someone who's a novice at it, like for Carrie and I, right. and maybe some of you will be, it looked more like, okay, the first part was great and then the last part was all straggly. And thin. So that was hard, even for me and for you, when you did some on your own, mm -hmm. to get those pieces to kind of like yank them up. And right. you could hear it ripping. Like, did it hurt that badly when I was pulling it? No, not really, because it was so fast, but... Okay. Did it feel like a... When you pulled it slowly, it hurt. Okay. So, pull fast, pull against the grain. And, yeah. And apply a thick enough layer, because if it's too thin, it just tears in your yeah, you gotta be liberal with it for sure. Don't uh, don't, don't try, try to be... skimp. Yeah, no skimping. No, no skimping. Okay. And remember, it does not say that it is safe for a lot of areas. So don't think you can get this and use it for, say, a Brazilian. Is it suitable for legs, underarms, chest, and back. Yeah. So. Yeah. It doesn't say to use it on your eyebrows or on your upper lip. Now, that is a direct um, contradiction to the video that we saw. The Hazel Harper ad that we saw mm -hmm. actually showed a woman getting wax on her face. That is true. So what I'm wondering is, and I will do some uh, research on this, maybe the lavender ones are okay for the face. Maybe. So we'll have to check that out as well. But if you have any other questions, please post them below. Mm -hmm. um, again, Hazel Harper, Hard Wax Beans. Uh, two thumbs up so far, Sam. Yeah. Yeah. Don't have any reason to give it a thumbs down. Right. So. And, all right, guys. Uh, we will catch you on the flippity. Catch you on the flippity. All right. All right. Bye, guys. Take care. See ya.